Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Fulcrum Poutine review. My name's Ali, and I'm the arts and culture editor at the Fulcrum. My name's Charlie, and apparently I'm the editor in chief. And yeah, so we're back uh, for another Poutine review, and this time we brought all of our friends on Edboard. And uh, we'll let people talk about their poutine. We'll start with uh, Dasser. My poutine, it's a chicken shawarma poutine. So I ordered this from Shawarma Prince. So I'll start with the chicken first. Normally, if you get a chicken shawarma poutine, the chicken can be a bit dry. It's not too dry, at least in the piece I got. It would have some nice crispy bits, so that's good. Cheese and gravy, uh, it's standard. Like, there's nothing special, nothing bad about it. But interestingly, they don't have fries. So what they have is, like, potato bits. It does make it a bit harder to eat, but taste-wise, it's pretty good. If I had to rate it out of five, I'd probably give it a 3.5. Um, so I ordered my poutine from Flapjack's Canadian Diner. I got a pancake poutine. So instead of fries, it's literally these giant slices of pancake with like traditional gravy and cheese curds. So this is going to be my first bite. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to have just like gravy soaked pancake. Um, the gravy is really good. Cheese curds are, you know, up to par. So out of five fleur de lis, I'm going to give it, I want to give it a four, but I'm going to give it a 3.5 for just being kind of weird. Okay, so I got the buffalo chicken poutine from La Poutinerie, or Poutinerie if you want to be French about it. Kind of looks like that. It's really good. It's basically just like um traditional poutine with like pretty good fries like they're thin and crispy um but with the added like spice from the buffalo chicken yeah i would give it a four out of five <laughs> so um there's a bit of mix up with my order i was ordering from the prescott and uh and the entire time it was like it's the prescott it's the prescott i get to the door open it it has an umbrella bar bag um so i have a chicken sandwich and a poutine but i'm gonna do the poutine So really good actually. I really like the gravy and the cheese is super melted. I'd probably give it like a four, maybe a four point five on a good day. Okay. So I ordered mine from Subtown. I'm pretty sure it has like chicken strips in it and then the typical cheese gravy fries. I really like the chicken strips. I'm not too picky on gravy, but I think it's a good mix with the cheese and the fries. I give it a four point five. I mean, four out of five. So I ordered uh, my poutine from a place called Chaos Krut. And you already know it's a good sign when your poutine comes in a like aluminum platter like this. This is like how places in Quebec do it. And this is like the best way to do it, honestly, because it keeps the heat in and it just keeps all the flavor too, right? So let's have a look at that. Looks really well done. Uh, fries look good. Uh, they look homemade, so that's a good sign. Cheese is well melted, and uh, you got some uh, pretty dark gravy, so we'll see. So sour, which is good. You want some sour uh, with that gravy. Uh, cheese is good, very melty, like I said. Um, I think I'm going to give this a 4.1 out of 5. Being, um, I had to take my own utensils from the office, uh, so that kind of docks a couple points. And it's a little bit cold, but uh, overall, pretty good poutine. And uh, I'm going to enjoy eating this with uh, chicken tenders that I also ordered from there that are very good. So, okay. Hello. Um, so I got the, it's basically a standard poutine from the, what is it? The Hintenberg public house. Um, I also ordered a chocolate chip cookie and that is relevant to this because I, they called me and they were like, Hey, listen, we dropped part of your order on the floor and we didn't want you to wait for a new one. So we can either send you the one that's been on the floor or we can just like send you an e-transfer. And I was like, okay, well, that's very nice of you. Um, so that happened. Um, and then also I definitely asked for them to include utensils and they did not. So points off for them. I don't know if you can like see it, but this is her. Um, it's like pretty standard fries, very like white gravy. It's like, like southern style gravy that you would put on biscuits um 
in terms of, you know, being a standard poutine, like it's fine. It's getting the job done. It's very, very salty in a way that I don't love, but that's okay. It's definitely better than the last poutine video that Charlie and I did. I'd give it like, honestly, I would give it a four out of five, but the missing fork and the thing that has possibly been on the floor dropped it down to like a 3.6. All right. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's Fulcrum Poutine Review. Um, thanks as well to Skip the Dishes for sponsoring this uh, poutine week from February 1st to 7th. And thank you as well to the Fulcrum Board for sponsoring all of our individual poutines and the ghost for not killing our editor-in-chief. You can find our social medias online. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.